Hey, Tina from Pasadena here. Uh, it is uh, inaugural day to uh, inaugurate our 45th President Trump. And I'm wearing black to uh, mourn that, uh, <laughs> um, that reality. Uh, I don't know how uplifting I can be today, but I will try to give people per some perspective um, Mainly, I, I just want to, you know, it's been a while since I uh, had a YouTube, so just want to get you up to date on what I'm doing. And um, mainly, I just feel that um, people are kind of, you know, very down and negative and in despair. And I want to uh, share what I've done, like... Uh, you know, proactively to help and make a difference in this challenging time. I, um, I want to focus on uh, the Democratic Party. Uh, as some of you may know already, I ran for Assembly District Delegate for my District 41, um, which is the Pasadena area, and um, it's to represent, be the representative to the Democratic Party, the State Democratic Party, and um, yay, I won. And it's a very exciting uh, um, entrance into my political career. And many people, I ran with a group of 10 people who are all from the Bernie campaign. And they are stepping up. And that's what we need is people to step up and make a difference and not uh, settle for uh, what we have and uh, be active and engaged. So we're doing that, and I'm very proud that uh, in California, uh, for these Assembly District elections, uh, Bernie Kratz, what they call uh, former Bernie supporters, um, swept many districts. There are 80 districts, and we took 650 uh, delegate positions out of 1,120. That's over, a ma it's a majority. So uh, there is something uh, very special about um a Bernie supporter activist. They are so um, ready to um, make a difference. They have been trained to uh, inspire people. They've been inspired. They can inspire people. They can inspire voters. And that's what we need. The Democratic Party needs people to co come out and vote, to show up and vote, give them something to fight for. And, uh, I want to um, point out that, you know, the Democrats say that we need unity and we need to work together. And I want to be even more uh, focused on two particular voters. And that is um, to bring attention to those swing states that uh, voters that are actually long, lifelong Democrats uh, voted for Obama twice and um, decided to vote for Trump this time. And that is a huge uh, problem, and we lost them. We lost those Democrats to Trump. We need to uh, figure out how we can get them back. Uh, those are people that um, are struggling. They're, they need jobs, and we need to... The party needs to support, uh, protect American jobs, bring jobs to uh, those people. So um, they are not dumb and racist. They are ordinary people struggling to put food on the table, roof over the head. And um, yeah, so we need to figure out how to bring them back. Uh, the Democrats need uh, to build their base again. Uh, remind themselves uh, who they represent and uh, the other group is um, former Bernie supporters who uh, lost faith in the Democratic Party because again they have lost their identity they lost their fight they lost their passion and uh, we can uh, Bernie Bernie inspired them and brought them to the Democratic Party. A lot of uh, people who I know who have 
been have no party affiliation, registered as Democrat uh, in order to support Bernie Sanders. So Bernie has the formula to inspire voters, and we need to uh, follow that uh, formula again. So those are two groups, the people we lost to Trump and um, the Bernie supporters. They're, some of them have come back because um, just on the small scale, when I ran as an assembly district delegate, I was uh, close enough to some of them, uh, the Bernie supporters who we who had dem exited, had left the Democratic Party after the primaries, they re-registered as Democrat in order to vote for me. So that gives me a lot of hope. And um, yeah, so it's happening. Uh, people are ready to um, ready for a new party and um, and people like me are stepping up and and we're bringing our uh, networks. So um, again, the Democratic Party, the what didn't work in my opinion is that, and I hear this from other people, is that they focus too much on uh, how bad Trump was. And um, people don't come out to vote for that. They come out to vote for something, not against something. That's just, uh, that's just something I've been hearing. And uh, we need more than just, I am voting against, in order to vote against something, they want to vote for something that would improve their lives. What what um, policies will help um, improve people's situations and give them opportunities to um, uh, a path to improve their um, financial situation? Um, so I just want to say the advice to everybody is that um, please don't. Um, I mean it. Yeah, it's. It's very demoralizing what's going on. We're all in despair and like you feel like you want to give up, but um, don't focus on Trump. He's one man. Uh, yes, the leader of the free world, but uh, things ha need votes. And, you know, there's still the House of Represent, both houses that things have to go through the House to get passed. So, Focus on what we can uh, influence, and that's our representatives, and that includes the republic, uh, our Republican representatives. Um, with this healthcare, Obamacare at risk, uh, we're paying attention, and uh, this is affecting people's lives. And um, if they want to be reelected, uh, I don't understand how they can support. Uh, um, repealing Obamacare without having something to replace it. So we are going to remember this and uh, there are going to be consequences uh, if they don't support the people. So uh, we need to use our vote uh, come re-election in a couple years. Uh, we'll remember their voting record. Uh, so uh, and um, so, and I just want to point out, yes, yesterday, I, you know, as Assembly District Delegate, I was asking a friend, uh, hey, now I'm your representative, uh, what do you want me to tell the Democratic Party uh, when I go to the con convention in May? And he said, oh, California is okay. Uh, we're fine. It's just those people in the other states. Um, this is the problem, is that uh, we feel that everything's okay here, uh, and it's not okay over there, and we turned our backs on on people um, that need help. And what happens is um, we all vote in a presidential election, and we end up with Trump, and we could end up with Trump, another Trump again. So, uh, what have we learned from this election? And that is, uh, we can't we can't live in our bubble, our state bubble. Uh, we're in this together as a as a nation, and um, people in other states are struggling. They need jobs, and uh, they need to feed their kids, put food on the table, roof over, the, over their heads, and we can't turn their, our backs on them. Um, so uh, what happened was Trump spoke to those people and you know promised them jobs, whether he will follow through or not. But he was speaking a language they understand, and that spoke to them and um, so they that's why they voted for Trump and um, nobody came you know fewer people came out for Clinton so um, it's a uh, a cry for help uh, when they voted for Trump it was a cry for help they're desperate 
So uh, let's support trade deals. The Democrat Party needs to support trade deals that help protect our American jobs. So again, we can't. Um, people will come out will come out to vote for something. So Democratic Party needs to give something, give a reason for people to vote, uh, to come out and vote. So the um, uh, my advice is we need to. In, uh, I know it's a really horrible time right now. It seems, but please don't disengage from the political process. Uh, we need to engage, and that is um, uh, what will help uh, the situation. Uh, so, yeah, so um, uh, what's coming up is I will hopefully continue my YouTube channel, uh, give some political perspective locally, and um, give some uh, perspective and encouragement. Um, there are always some things to do, and... Um, it, it is, it's going to be hard. I'm not, uh, I have no illusion about that. Um, but that's, that's, that means we have to engage. We have to plug in as much as we can and get out of our house. Uh, it's not enough to do social media shares or likes and all that. Um, we need to get out on the streets. I really believe that I will be, that w what will make the difference is all of us coming together, physically standing up for, what um what we believe in and what needs to what will help us uh policies that will help us so um literally getting out in the streets and um that's going to make the difference picking up the phone is going to make the difference uh but it has to be done coordinated and in in large scale and uh very focused and very specific times so uh my advice is uh, yes, we all need to do something, uh, whether it's small or big, uh, one time here and there, 30 minutes. Um, but my advice is plug in, sign up for a organization that is, has been established already because, um, we are headed for a very tough time. And if we are all plugged into our respective organizations, there's going to be a day where the bat phone will ring. All of our bat phones will ring, and we're going to have to all in our networks come together on a particular day or for a very coordinated effort for a particular week or a month or whatever it is. But the more organized we are, the more coordinated, the more focused, the tight-knit we are, the more effective we're going to be. So plug into some organization and um, our networks will network and uh, have a, a very focused and strong impact um, as long as we're organized. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, I also plan to come out with a monthly newsletter uh, via email and um, what I learned this year is you know, I acknowledge my privilege and um, you know I came into the Bernie campaign on the educational platform on uh, having free higher ed but you know what that is I'm actually gonna be okay you know we're, we're doing okay what I what people need to focus on are the people that are really struggling and that it's in my neighborhood. Uh, we don't hear them hear about them. Uh, people, uh, the homeless, the mentally ill, veterans, um, children in poverty. You don't see that in the media. So um, the purpose of my newsletter is to bring uh, bring a uh, shine a spotlight on on the that part of my community, and I think that will bring it home for people. Um, the people that, um, for people to understand um, the, the income and wealth inequality idea, uh, well, or the what's happening is the economic injustice happening, and I mean, pure and simple, people people are struggling, and things like um, raising the federal min minimum wage it makes a huge difference for them. So I want to bring a spotlight on those people, give them a voice. I will do um, video interviews on um that population 
and hopefully uh, bring attention to uh, the income and wealth inequality. So yeah, as an assembly district delegate, I will have uh, a lot of opportunities for people to get involved. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you for listening and please share my video. And uh, again, uh, keep fighting the good fight.